Some time ago, there was a little town settled in the lower regions of an extraordinary mountain range. The townspeople were blissful and content, carrying on with a basic life as one with nature. In any case, there was one thing that captivated them, a monstrous mountain top that overshadowed their town. The mountain was covered in secret, and nobody understood what mysteries it held. A few townspeople accepted that there was a secret fortune at the top, while others felt that it was the home of strong divine beings. In any case, nobody thought for even a second to wander excessively near the mountain, because of a paranoid fear of maddening anything spirits or animals could live there. At some point, a little kid named May chose to examine the mountain. She was an inquisitive youngster, continuously looking for experience and energy, and she yearned to settle the secret of the mountain. She set out promptly in the first part of the day, conveying a little rucksack for certain provisions and a guide of the encompassing region. The excursion was long and troublesome, with steep grades and slippery ways, yet not entirely set in stone to arrive at the top. As she moved increasingly elevated, May saw that the mountain was not normal for any she had at any point seen. The stones and rocks were organized in many-sided designs, as though they had been set there purposely. Also, the higher she climbed, the more she felt like she was being watched. However, May was not dissuaded. She pushed on, driven by her interest and longing for experience. At last, nighttime of climbing, she arrived at the highest point. Incredibly, there was no secret fortune or strong divine beings sitting tight for her. All things considered, there was a little cavern, settled into the side of the mountain. It was dim and premonition, however May felt attracted to it, as though there was a significant thing inside. She mindfully entered the cavern, her heart thumping quick. Inside, she tracked down an old stone raised area, canvassed in strange images and carvings. At the focal point of the special stepped area was a little, elaborate box. May painstakingly opened the container, and shockingly, she tracked down a guide inside. The guide showed the whole district, with markings and images that appeared to demonstrate something significant. May read up the guide for quite a long time, attempting to unravel its insider facts. At long last, she understood that it was a fortune map, prompting a secret store of wealth somewhere down in the core of the mountain. Over the course of the following couple of days, May investigated the mountain, following the guide's signs and clues. She experienced numerous snags and difficulties, yet she won't ever surrender. At last, she found the secret store of fortune, a little room loaded up with sparkling gems and valuable metals. Furthermore, as she remained there, encompassed by abundance beyond anything she could ever imagine, she understood that the genuine fortune was not the gold or the gems, but rather the actual excursion. For it was through her interest and diligence that May had found the mountains confidential, and in doing as such, she had discovered a feeling of direction and satisfaction that she had never known. From that day forward, May became known as the traveler of the town, rousing other youngsters to investigate their general surroundings and find the miracles that lay secret in the most startling spots. Lesson of the Story Interest and diligence can lead you to find startling fortunes and discover a feeling of direction and satisfaction throughout everyday life. Gratitude for watching. If it's not too much trouble, offer it a go ahead and buy into our feed for more happy like this and we'll see you in the following video.